Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to stop pushing men away. This is such a crucial concept to understand, really no matter where you are in your love life, whether you're single and looking to attract that right man for you, or if you're in a relationship or dating or interested in one particular man and he seems to be getting a little distant or pulling away. What I'm about to share with you in this video will really get that man to turn around on a dime and and come back towards you all on his own without any sort of strategizing or games or manipulation on your end. It's pretty amazing how it works. And this is really the number one thing that I had to learn in my own life to turn my love life around. You know, in my past, I never really had a problem attracting men typically, but they just never really stuck, at least the ones I wanted to be with, those high quality men, especially if I had my eye on one particular man they never really stuck around or took the relationship to the next level. And they just always kind of left me feeling disappointed or heartbroken or hurt. And I know so many women who are at that place and it really doesn't have to be that way. I just, I talk to so many women every week and I've had countless clients completely transform their love lives and, you know, have men coming back towards them or attracting men who are a million times better than the men they were used to attracting just by implementing some of these things I'm going to share in this video. So this really, really works and I'm so excited to share this with you and I can't wait to hear about the incredible results you're going to get. So in order to stop pushing men away, basically the number one thing you need to do is create the space for him to come towards you. A man really needs to feel that pull towards a woman or that tension. And he can't do that when we're doing all these things that push him away. And just to back up a little bit and give you the foundation for this, this all goes back to masculine and feminine energy, like so many of these things that I talk about and teach. And you might be familiar with masculine and feminine energy, but in case you're not, I'll go over it briefly. So masculine energy is the part of us that's about doing things and thinking, solving problems, making decisions, anytime we need to figure something out or get something done, we're in our masculine energy. Also giving is a masculine energy trait because it's about taking action and doing things. It's like a for, there's a forward leaning quality to giving and nurturing. Masculine energy traits, people are surprised to hear that, but it's really true. It's about taking action. So whenever you are in a mode where you're taking action or you're analyzing or trying to figure things out, you're in your masculine energy. And that's a great thing, actually. You really want to have that masculine energy in gear for yourself and your own life. You know, we all have both masculine and feminine energy inside of us. And I don't want you to think that you have to squash your masculine energy down. It's really about ramping up both sides, both energies, and just using them in a way that's going to work for you rather than against you, especially in your love life. So that's masculine energy. Feminine energy is the opposite. Feminine energy is all about being in the moment, really uh, experiencing what's going on around you, feeling when you're experiencing your feelings, you're in your feminine energy. It's pretty amazing. And let's see, uh, expressing yourself, responding rather than initiating when you're just leaning back and responding to a man or to anyone, you're in your feminine energy. And also trusting and allowing are really feminine energy qualities, especially just leaning back and trusting that the right man for you is going to come towards you and pursue you all on his own without any sort of prompting or prodding or pushing on your end. So that's sort of the basics for this, you know, masculine and feminine energy. And what I want you to do is be in your masculine energy when you need to be in your own life, let's say when you're working or raising kids or planning things and making decisions, and be in your feminine energy when you're with a man, like if you're on a date or in a relationship. So that's sort of the basis for this, masculine and feminine energy. So like I said, the number one thing you need to do to stop pushing men away is to really create the space for him to come towards you. And it's a little counterintuitive, you know? We can tend to get in the mode where we need to like, create something or do something with a man or make something happen in the relationship. And we think that's how a man is going to feel connected to us and want to come close, but it's really just the opposite. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of things that I want you to stop doing right now. That's going to create the space for that man 
to come towards you or a brand new man who's just really right for you and a really masculine energy, high quality man. And just a little disclaimer here, it's not like you can never do these things ever again, but when a woman starts working with me, I really suggest having her sort of bring it back to zero and always lean back, always be in her feminine energy to really experience what it feels like to receive a man's energy and attention and love and affection. For some of us, that's like a completely foreign concept. So the idea of just leaning back and having a man want to pursue us and be with us because of who we are, not because of what we can do or give to him or accomplish is, um, a new concept for so many of us. So what I want you to stop doing is a whole bunch of things. And again, it's not like you can never do these things, but for right now, when you're working to reverse the dynamic, I really suggest bringing it back to zero and always leaning back. So what does this look like in real life? First thing I want you to do is stop initiating contact with a man, especially any man whose energy is not coming towards you. If a man has gone distant or is pulling away, stop initiating contact with him. Stop calling him, stop texting him and asking him what's wrong or asking questions about the relationship or even really subtle things like texting him a funny picture that you saw that you know made you think of him. A lot of these things are really subtle, but there's this underlying expectation or there's this undercurrent of like, I'm going to do this because I want a man to respond in this way, or I'm trying to affect him in this way. So stop initiating contact just for now. Stop making it easy for a man in dating, especially like always driving to him or fitting him into your schedule when he asked you out last minute or canceling plans just to see him because he's the guy you really like and you really want to see him or uh, paying on the dates, offering to pay every time, especially if he's the one that asked you out. You know, if a man asks you out, he's not going to arrange something that he can't afford. So if you're the one who's constantly paying for everything, a man will start to feel like you're sort of taking over the masculine role, even on a very deep unconscious level. And that will push him away too. You know, masculine energy men, they just dream of like, pursuing and winning over their dream girl and hoping she says yes. They don't dream about ending up with some woman who's strategizing and pining after him and trying to lock him down into a relationship. That will push away a man faster than almost anything else. Just that energy of trying to like make something happen constantly. And sometimes we're not doing things like overtly that convey that, but sometimes it's just somewhere in our eyes or somewhere in our energy. So when you really lean back and stop doing these things that push a man away, you're going to create the space for him to come towards you, whether it's one particular man or a brand new man who's a really high quality masculine energy man. Um, masculine energy men are just, you know, when you're in your feminine energy, you just become a magnet for those guys. It's pretty amazing. So other things to stop doing, stop initiating conversations about the relationship. That is a huge one. And I am totally guilty of this in my past. So much of the time we think we need to like talk about things with a man and bring it up and move things along when we really don't. It's pretty interesting because when we're leaning back and creating that space, a man will really step up and bring it up and initiate these conversations on his own if it's even necessary or he'll just move the relationship along all on his own without any like prompting and prodding from you so you want to stop initiating talks about the relationship and instead just focus on creating really good feeling experiences with him one moment at a time rather than talking about things that just try speaking less altogether. Um, and I know that that might sound like anti-feminist, but just while we're working to turn this dynamic around, uh, a man would like kill for a woman who's kind of comfortable with the silence rather than someone who's always jumping in and picking up the slack for him in conversations. Cause we don't like those awkward pauses. I can definitely relate to that. And <laughs> maybe you can too. So really leaning back verbally too. And, I promise you, he will step up. You don't have to pick up the slack for a guy in conversations, for example. Really just lean back and experience the moment. He will say something, I promise. He will figure it out and say something. And he will feel much more attracted to you when you don't have this like busy body kind of energy where you're just constantly 
pushing and trying to make something happen or filling in those spaces in conversation. So those are all the things I want you to stop doing in order to create the space for the man to come towards you and stop pushing him away. Now, again, if you're feeling super confident and you know a guy is crazy about you, of course it's fine. You can really do anything. <laughs> when you're at that place, you can call a guy up and say, hey, let's go let's go to lunch today. Let's go down the street to the restaurant and you know grab a bite to eat. If you know that a man's crazy about you, you can really do anything. But uh, most women are not at that place, especially when they're looking for advice on how to uh, turn their love life around. So uh, it's all about getting yourself to that place. So then you can do whatever you want, and this stuff just becomes like second nature, you know? Um, so, uh, oh, this is Leo. <laughs> Leo loves to help me out when I'm making these videos. He is just my little angel, and I just, I just, uh, I just adore him so much. <laughs> Loves to help out when I'm making videos. So uh, he's actually a great example of this. Whenever I want him near me, which is pretty often, because I'm just, I'm just crazy about him. He kind of, you know, will squirm and try to get away from me. But when, um, when I take my attention off of him, like when I'm doing something like this, he just comes right up to me and wants to be involved. Not to compare men with animals, but you know, some animal trainers will say like if a dog is running away, like if you're at the beach or a dog park and a dog's like, you know, gets away from the leash, rather than running and chasing after the dog, if you stop and turn your back on them, they will actually sense it, you know, on, on an instinctive level, and they will stop running away from you. Pretty amazing how it works. So Leo teaches me a lot of things when it comes to the energy dynamic, or he reminds me a lot of, of a lot of things, I should say. So uh, it's all about what you do when a man comes back towards you that's going to keep him coming back for more and more and more and want to get closer or push him even further away, cause him just to, you know, be pushed further away and stay there. So when a man comes back towards you, you want to be warm and open and receptive to him. You want to be in your feminine energy, just leaning back and, oh, it feels so good to hear from you. Not where have you been? Why have you been distant? Why is it taking you so long to get back to me? None of that stuff while we're working to turn this uh, relationship dynamic around or attract a new man who's just amazing. So the most important thing about all of this is it has to be authentic. None of my work is about games or strategies or manipulation at all. It's all about, it's just a whole new way to live your life, you know, outside of a man so that, you know, he just feels this pull to come towards you. If you want to just imagine right now, imagine that man right in front of you. If you have a particular man in mind or a brand new man and imagine like, leaning forward physically and pushing your energy towards him. Even in, in your subconscious mind, you can feel him like pull away. And if you reverse that by leaning back, physically leaning back, imagine taking your focus off of him and putting it on yourself in your own life where it belongs. You can, you will start to feel that man come back towards you. So I hope this was helpful for you in terms of how to stop pushing men away. This was really the first step for me in turning everything around and it happened pretty quickly too. And it's happening quickly every day and all of my clients, I'm seeing this. So I know this will work for you. I would love to hear how this goes for you and I will see you next time.